shooting his neighbors. Cops say he had a gun, but it's the other weapon that stands out, a slingshot. Our Derek Williams saw the damage for herself and has more on what happened. These two Chatham Street homes are riddled with holes. I just don't want anything else further to happen. Anthony Cervantes says his stepdaughter was outside playing with his adjacent neighbor and their children when all of a sudden marbles came zipping their way. A lady, Margaret, over here, she had one fly past her face, and then the next one hit my stepdaughter in her leg, and that's and then his son was down here, so he went over there and confronted him. According to a criminal complaint, the neighbor knocked on the door and Edward Pavlik gave him a startling surprise. He pointed a gun at his face and said, call the cops if you have a problem. Reports say Pavlik cursed at him and aimed the gun at him twice. The man put his hands in the air and returned to find a barrage of holes in his and his neighbor's Chatham Street homes. So he called the cops and they arrested him. Officers located a 38 caliber revolver as well as numerous marbles in Pavlik's pockets. They say he admitted using a slingshot to shoot marbles toward his neighbor's home because he didn't trust anyone who lived at that residence. Cervantes says the suspect's issues have nothing to do with them. This house, I guess, has had some problems, some bad uh, tenants before this property. He's glad Pavlik is behind bars and thankful the damage wasn't worse. I just think it would really hurt someone if they could bust the siding and go through more than because some of them, like you see, it's gone through the insulation. Pavlik faces several charges, including recklessly endangering safety, carrying a concealed weapon, and criminal damage to property. He was ordered no contact with the victims or the home, not to possess any weapons. Live in the newsroom, Derricka Williams, Fox 6 News. Derricka, thank you. A federal judge putting the brakes.